coming up next, it is a heavyweight collision between Kimbo Slice and Stefan Struve. Well, no doubt this young man is preparing to unleash some devastating kicks on his opponent tonight. You talk about guys like Tiago Alves, Jose Aldo Jr., the kicks on this young man, absolutely powerful. He can do major damage, too, just by landing a couple of them. You've seen fights of his where he lands one kick to the body or one to that lead leg, and you get an immediate welter bruise, really as powerful a kicker as we've seen in the UFC in some time. Stefan Struve comes from a Dutch kickboxing background and has a towering reach advantage over most of his opponents. He's also an extremely effective submission artist and ends a lot of his fights by locking in a choke. Well, right now he believes he's the baddest man on the planet. Tonight represents another opportunity to prove it. This is a heavyweight title eliminator. He wins tonight. He is next in line for a shot at the UFC Heavyweight Championship to become the consensus baddest man on the planet. 15 minutes or fewer away from a heavyweight title shot if he can get the job done tonight. This guy has outstanding control on the ground amongst the best in the world at holding his opponent in the position that he would like to keep him in while utilizing his techniques. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 44 wins, 19 losses. He stands 7 feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. On the other field of work, the Netherlands, Stefan Skyscraper! <laughs> and now he brings his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Kimbo! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go fight. down right Good. now. Well, it seems like this is an annual stop for the MMA leader as we are back and now underway with live action from United Center in the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois. All right, so here we go, early round one. The heavyweight division is wide open, but this young man is looking to close it up tonight. This is his first contender's fight. If he wins this fight tonight, he will get a shot to become the baddest man. Oh, he's had to. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Oh, oh huge hand. He's got it right here. He gets the full mount. Flattens him out. Ooh, not good. Trying to get under the chin. He's got his back. He's looking for the rear naked choke. From here, what he wants to do is get his forearm under his opponent's chin. And he's out. Joe, the hammer fists keep on coming. They're getting blocked here. Caught him with a punch. He's got half guard. 
now to full guard. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. And he landed there as usual by Struve. And he lands a nice kick. Struve lands a jab there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, oh man, ball. that is rough. How about that chin? Oh. Man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. That one hurt. Kimbo Slice gets caught by that straight punch, or so it appeared, Joe. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's Oftentimes come shortly thereafter. Nice punch by Stroop. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. Oh, no! He's oh, here. Oh. Oh, look at this. That was Beautiful knockout blow to finish the fight here. Well, Joe, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Check it out here. Bam! Nighty night. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, eight seconds of the very first round. To play the winner by knockout, Kimbo! So there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joe. He gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will party deep into the night with his friends, his family. A I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. It's an old fight game adage that fans love nothing more than a knockout. If that's the case, then they will love this heavyweight banger, who was celebrated today for delivering the most knockouts in UFC history. A record achieved thanks to his devastating prowess in the octagon with his fists, feet, elbows, and knees. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights.